Welcome to Interior Health's Adult Type 2 Diabetes video series. The topic of this video is new to diabetes type 2. Just a few reminders as you watch this video series. We encourage you to watch the videos in order. And just remember, you can go back and watch the videos as often as you'd like. Fraser Health on the Road to Diabetes Health is a great resource to accompany this video series. And remember, you can pause the video at any time if you would like to spend a little bit more time reviewing the information. We would like to acknowledge that our work occurs on the beautiful, traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the First Nations of the Interior Region. We also recognize the Métis Nation and the contributions of the Métis peoples to the Indigenous ways of being and knowing on this land. In this first video, we will be discussing who is on your diabetes healthcare team, emotions and feelings you might be experiencing when you are first diagnosed, what type of diabetes do you have, and what is diabetes? Your diabetes healthcare team may include your family doctor or nurse practitioner, the Diabetes Education Center, which includes a nurse and a dietitian, and in addition, as part of your team, you have your pharmacist, family, and friends. Here is a list of other healthcare team members you may also see as part of your diabetes journey. As you move through your journey with diabetes, your team will vary depending on your needs. It is totally normal to go through certain emotions and feelings when you are diagnosed with diabetes. In 1969, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross described five common stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and finally acceptance. You may move through all of them or one or two, or sometimes even none of them and it may not be in a specific order. In order to move forward, it is important to acknowledge the stage you are in and reach out for help. When working through feelings and emotions around your diagnosis, it is important to know what supports are out there. Here are a list of helpful resources. A social worker may be linked to your clinic, there may be private counseling and or counseling through Interior Health. And if you need help finding any other resources, feel free to connect with your local diabetes clinic. There are other types of diabetes, such as type 1 diabetes, in which your body cannot produce insulin at all. And gestational diabetes, which is hormonal and happens in pregnancy. Type 2 diabetes is the focus of this video, as it is the most common in those folks over 40 years of age. Many people will not notice any symptoms. It is common in those who carry their weight specifically in their abdomen. This can cause insulin resistance. And most often the pancreas cannot make enough insulin to keep up with the glucose. Why don't we dive a bit deeper into this? Let's start with how your body works to use energy. Cells in your brain and muscles require energy to function so they can send out signals. Glucose is a form of energy and it comes from your carbohydrates. Insulin carries the glucose into the cell to be used for energy. 
Sometimes there is too much glucose in our bodies and sometimes we go too long without eating and our liver kicks out glucose to compensate. In type 2 diabetes, the cell walls can be resistant to insulin, which can make it difficult to carry the glucose into the cell. Also, the pancreas may have a hard time keeping up or it may not produce enough insulin to carry the glucose. The good news is there are many ways to help you live well with diabetes. Here are some resources that may be helpful in your journey with diabetes. You have just viewed New to Diabetes Type 2. We encourage you to view the remaining videos for more information about living well with type 2 diabetes.